Okay, welcome back for part two of our Precision 612 Tube Tester Simple Restore. Um, I wanted to start here to uh, clarify some things that I wasn't really clear about in the first episode. I said that we weren't going to bother with these resistors here. These are uh, battery testing. This unit will also test batteries which I'm not going to use it for. So I didn't find it to be very important. But the other resistors that I did uh, go through are more involved in testing tubes. So I found it much more important to make sure that those were on value. And uh, of all the resistors here, I wound up changing five. Um, I also wound up changing this capacitor here, as I'll show you in a little bit. Um, calibrating this tube tester was reasonably easy. Um, all you had to do is clip your voltmeter onto the 300 volt um, pin on the uh, output transformer here. Adjust your line voltage so that the meter on the uh, tester is on the adjust line in the middle. And then uh, keep adjusting R5 and R30 until your voltage coming out of this tap on the transformer is perfectly 300 volts. So you have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth uh, a little bit to get that perfect. Um, and then there's uh, just one more adjustment, which is a little bit more involved, that uses uh, three 6L6s of known new stature, if you will, as a uh, benchmark to set the meter out to about a 75% deflection. So I've gone through all that and I've calibrated it change resistors, change capacitors. I put a nice line cord on it, a nice long one that's been a polarized long cor line cord, and I put it back in the box. So the next step is, is to test it. I have a couple of six C4 tubes um, that I know their, uh, their performance. One of them tests okay, not wonderful, but okay, and another one tests a dismal. So uh, I figure if we uh, test those two tubes and we get that same result, we know we're on track. So let's have a look at that. And here's all the parts that got changed. Not a big list. Uh, certainly it was a uh, cost-effective uh, restoration. <clears throat> I also put a new panel lamp in it as well. Okay, so we're all set up. We're going to test our first C4 here. I've got all the controls set up as per, per the tube library here. Just for emissions, I've already gone through. Well, I haven't yet, but I can go through shorts a little later. So we'll plug the tube in and we'll let it, the filament heat up. And... Okay, that one's showing about 70. So that's the one that's okay. It's not great, but okay. The other one should test really poorly. We'll give it a bit here for the filament to warm up. The machine has been running for 10 or 15 minutes so that it's warmed up as well. Let's see what we got. And there you have it. This one tests pretty dismal, pretty poor. Um, so that's uh, a confirmation for me that uh, the machine is running proper, which is nice. Nice to have it kicking around. Um, didn't cost me a lot of money. Didn't take a lot of time. It's well built. Um, the case needs some TLC, which I'll get to when the cold months uh, are over. The, uh, the northern hemisphere is uh, going into snow and whatnot so uh i like to kind of sort of do these sanding and uh, urethaning and uh, whatnot outside rather than in the house so uh, we'll look after uh, getting the case spotted up uh, uh, next spring so i'll call that a success and uh if you haven't subscribed and you were enjoying our series of videos please 
take a moment to subscribe. We can always use uh, the extra folks to help build our community. Um, and if you do, I certainly thank you for that. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next one.